the demand in access to education and limitation for various colleges and universities it creates ever growing cap to those to be found at multiple instances of learning. University applications are subject to meticulous screening by admission committee, which entails exclusion of candidates undesirable in entrance examination, especially in developing country like Nigeria. So the advent of ICT, now as information communication technology, in education curriculum, now education of learning, broadens access to knowledge with the use of social media and other electronic devices. Distance learning already gained popularity among other nations. This system used a combination of traditional classroom instruction and technology enhanced teachings in teaching practices to convey knowledge to students. That's right, 2019. Consequently, the importance of alternative mode of education in today's world cannot be undermined. This alternative mode is expected to provide opportunities for open education for prospective students who are not eligible for admission to academic institutions. Key factors to the emergence of open education is rigid timetable, tuition costs, and miscellaneous school fees. Some students come from indigent programs and may not be able to afford the cost of enrollment in a university or have a full time to dedicate themselves to the fixed learning schedule of higher education institutions. Additionally, the motive behind the positive of knowledge by students in ever homogeneous is uh, respective of their age. Statement of the problem. Education is a fundamental human right and every nation strives to ensure her citizens are well educated. However, education is still beyond the reach of a significant amount of students with a thirst for knowledge. This issue gains more prominence in developing nations such as Nigeria, where education is of low significance, as reflected by the national budgets. UNESCO International Benchmark for Education Funding is 15 to 20%. But in Nigeria, it is just 5.6% according to the 2021 budget, which drastically reduced by 9.3%. You get that from Nigeria Premium Time 2021. Open education resources, therefore, offer the educational bridge to those students of low income background. And it is imperative to examine how to foster a sustainable culture of open education in Nigeria. Therefore, the research examines the literature on the culture of building a sustainable open education with specific focus in Nigeria. The purpose of the study. The main purpose of this study is to examine the literature on the culture of building and sustainable open education with specific focus in Nigeria. And the specific focus are to examine the strategies of building and sustaining a culture of open education, to identify the best practices of building and sustaining culture of open education, to state the policies of building and sustaining culture of open education, and to highlight the advocacies needed in building and sustaining a culture of open education, why the challenges that hinder effectively of building and sustaining education was looked at. The significance of the study, the study is significant to all professionals, policy makers and researchers, governmental bodies and prior starters. The building strategies, best practices, policies and advocacy of sustaining open education. Open education has come to stay in 21st century. It is by no means of superior alternative or substitute for a traditional means of higher education. In elementary perspective, open education is not a competition with traditional higher education, but it acts more as a supplementary avenue to extend the reach of education and life and foster lifelong learning. Higher learning institutions require highly qualified staff, conducive environment, infrastructure, and a host of facilities. The affirmation entities also required constant maintenance upgrade and staff training as a 20. It is inevitable that all these attributes to the high cost of obtaining an accredited degree from traditional education institution. This is why open education caters to different category of students. It ensures that the knowledge accessible is made possible even to those who, who are not financially buoyant and to those who cannot meet up with physical attendance in schools. 
Building strategies continues. The best practices, policies, and advocacy of sustaining open culture. The global education remains a key element of modern activity, modern society. Many nations in the world have adopted open education and established open education in open universities. In 2002, UNESCO organized a meeting called the Forum on the Impact of Open Education are open causeway for higher education in developing countries. The value of open content was officially recognized and the term open educational resources was established and defined as the open provision for educational resources and which enabled by information and communication technology for constitution, for consultation, for use and adaptation by community of non-commercial purposes. Global education remains the key element of modern society. Many nations in the world have adopted an education and established open education universities. UNESCO International Benchmark for Education, which is 15 to 20 percent, look at that of Nigeria in the, in the, in the, in the, in the statement of the problem, which is just 5.6 percent, and it's 9.53 percent reduced drastically from the normal one. You get that from Nigerian Premium Times 2020. Over 25 open access courses in 200 universities have been made freely accessible to them. This illustrates an upward trend in the advocacy for open education resources movement in the higher education environment. Sustainable of open education has always been a critical issue for the government towards the continuous free education access. In the previous years, millions of dollars have been donated by prestigious philanthropic foundations, such as the William and Flora Ellis Foundation, to fund university based on open education resources. The methodology used for this research examines the review of relevant literature of culture of building and sustainable and open education with specific focus in developing country in Nigeria. The significance challenges that may either the effect of building a certain of, of open education are the question of quality assurance, which has always been persistent in using an open education. The open education resource is a welcome development, but without peer-reviewed content, the initiative can for not. Open education resources may be subject to infrequent updates and little added copy editing support. However, with several open education re resources repository available, free based content does not directly infer to a high number of online education resources without questionable quality. Local or international learning institutions of notable reputation are not immune to providing free education material lacking solid education value. OER may be subjected to infrequent updates and little added copyright editing. Safety, accuracy, credibility, and effective, effectiveness, which are top features for developing open education resources. The solution from research conducted by Dallas for 2006, we developed six models to boost the stability and longevity of open education programs, which are the replacement model, the volunteer model, the conversion model, the segmentation model, the donation model, and the contribution model. In conclusion, open education resources comprise of Udu education resources, which teaches and in teaching and learning materials in various electronic forms, in a huge account and discounts, or even free to be accessible to all. So open education helps to bridge the knowledge gap for the underprivileged students and promote the lifelong learning. Despite this, open education suffers some setbacks that may hinder its event. Therefore, it is mandatory for stakeholders to provide to be proactive towards the smooth running of open education resources. This paper attracts scholars' attention towards the long-term benefit of open education to posterity improving lives of disseminating knowledge. And currently, college and universities diversify knowledge of open education to the limited financial flow for open education resources. Other funding should be explored, then, explored by higher education institutions, which include institutional grants, program professional society and consortium. The recommendation of open education, open education should be based on rationale, the education should be made